Alright, so I have had quiet time and I just kind of went outside and took in some fresh air. So I'm going to get ready now for work. Um, I, yeah, <laughs> I'm living an exciting life. Um, but this is just my everyday weekly life and so I'm going to get ready for work, do my makeup maybe a little bit, my hair, because you know, this won't do. Um, although I just put a hair net on anyway, I just have to get my hair in a bun, um, essentially. But, yeah, go to work, and then I'll come home, maybe hang out with Sadie for just a little bit, get ready to go, like, I'll change out of my work shirt and put on something else, and go to the grocery store. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, I'm telling you guys all this when you're going to see it soon anyway, but <clears throat> I'm kind of just talking myself through it. Um, Quiet Time was really good. I read Psalm 117 today. I read a psalm every day, and that was the one today. That's, like, the shortest psalm, um, so it was really kind of funny when I was like, oh, okay, let's see what Psalm 117 is. And then I was like, oh yeah, it's this one. It's really short. <laughs> um, which is fine. Not, it's not good or bad necessarily. I just um, kind of forgot about it. So anyway, I have had a sore throat on and off and I'm trying to fight it. I'm trying to drink a lot of water and help with that, but it's just like kind of there every day. Just kind of there. And um, I have a diffuser going every night to help like maybe add some humidity to the air, but I don't know if I should get the actual humidifier out or not. Um, maybe today will help with like the fresh air and the nice weather to just kind of boost my spirit, my energy or something. I don't know. I'm home. I'm so happy to be home. It's so dark out for 3.35 but I think it's supposed to rain and there's definitely that cold front coming in. So anyway, time to take everything in. Let's do a quick grocery haul. I got the standard milk and Fairlife milk, some orange juice. All they had was the light kind at Kroger brand. Um, I got this Italian sausage brat stuff. Um, anyway, it was $2.99, which I guess maybe this shouldn't have been on there. I don't know. It's a sticker though, yeah. Anyway, it was $2.99 instead of $4.69. Great price. Um, some Colby Jack cheese. Now for produce, I got bananas, Honeycrisp apples, mushrooms, carrots, and these clementines or mandarin oranges, cuties, whatever they are. Um, I got some Augarten potatoes. They looked really good. It was $0.79 cents for the box. I'm sure there's probably some stuff in here that's not so good for you or whatever, but they just sounded really good. Um, and some rice, and then I got some dried cranberries. I was a splurge, but we're almost out, and I love them on salads. Um, speaking of salads, I got, so the rest of this is like stocking up kind of stuff. Um, two things of Italian dressing, two things of ranch. Those are like standard for us. Um, I do like raspberry vinaigrette a lot, but for the price, like I just didn't, they don't have raspberry vinaigrette in these double pack, so I was like, I'll get Italian. I use it for pastas and other stuff, too. Um, Italian, or not Italian, oh my goodness. Ketchup. Got some ketchup. We're almost out. Two things of soy sauce. It was like 90 cents or 99 cents for um, each one, so I felt like that was a pretty decent price. I buy the light kind because it has less sodium. I got Worcestershire. I would say Worcestershire. I don't know. Anyway, this sauce... Um, I totally butchered that. You'll probably laugh at me, whoever you are watching this, but that's okay. Um, it's just so good for, like, burgers and everything, so, anyway, I got that. Not that we eat burgers that often. Um, and we were completely out of salt. We have been for a long time, and we've been using our Himalayan salt, but we're almost out of that, so I got some regular, um, salt. So, anyway, that's what I got, and it was $44, I believe. Yep, $44, so... I'll probably just get 25 cents back and I bought a, I used, I have the Checkout 51 app, but I just don't use it that much. I probably should. Um, but yeah, so that's it. And that's just, this is just part of the vlog. So anyway, see you soon. I just got home from work. Sorry, the lighting is bad. Um, I always say that stuff. Anyway, I literally just got home and let Sadie out and now I'm drinking some water. Um, and the thing is still beeping. Um, <laughs> exam A. So I'm going to get ready to go. And maybe I'll look at that one more time right now before I go. I don't know. I'm so frustrated by it. Um, but yeah, and I'll keep an eye on Sadie. Maybe I'll get her some treats or something. I don't know for when I leave, but... Alright, hey guys. I just got off work. I let Sadie outside and I'm drinking some water now. Um, I am gonna, yeah, get ready to go. Um, work was really good, but I stayed a little later than normal. Which, <laughs> I need to be careful because they don't like it if I stay over late too much because they have a budget for how much they want to pay me and um, yeah they don't want me to go over my budget so <laughs> I understand that but I also think that some days I just work hard and I, I deserve extra money for the extra work so um, 
I think I will get paid a little extra for today, which is really good because we were supposed to have school this past Monday and we didn't. Um, so it'll only be a little bit of extra money, but it'll help a tiny, tiny bit to make up for Monday. Um, and then next week I'm only working uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then, I don't know, there's like all the snow and stuff that might come, and so I don't know if I'll even be working that much, you know, tomorrow or what, so, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you guys, or I'll like film more when I start doing something interesting, like going to the store. Alright, so I'm at Dollar Tree, and you guys want to see what I got? Pregnancy tests? These are the ones that my sister used, um, just from the Dollar Tree, I think. I mean, that's the same is what they looked like, and they were pretty accurate for her. <laughs> and so, um, considering next week is her gender reveal, but anyway. Um, and then they also had a couple, or they had ovulation predictors. So I've never seen anyone use these before, I don't think, but I don't really watch a lot of those videos on YouTube of just, like, people taking ovulation tests. <laughs> so, um, I got two of them to just try out. So then I got three pregnancy tests. So, yeah, I'm excited to try these, <laughs> and they seem... Like I said, I don't know about the ovulation ones, but the pregnancy ones seem um, accurate. And if you can get them for a dollar, why not do that? So, um... Do you guys see how large this chip is? I'm eating some Lay's barbecue chips. Not being very healthy, but they taste good and I'm hungry, and this is huge. Look at that. Ah, I'm breaking it. Anyway. Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to do things in life. I have a Whirlpool side-by-side -side refrigerator, and it takes a every drop ice and water. Um, it's just a like, number one little filter here. Um, that's what I'm going to use anyway, and that's what's in here it looks like. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I have no idea, but we'll learn together. So first of all, down here in my fridge was this, and I just popped it open. And there is that. <laughs> so, um, I'll show you what I learned next. Alright, so I cut off the black part. You could just rip it off, but I'm weak and didn't feel like it. And so now I open this up and Sadie's trying to help. So on the bottom of this, it looks the same as the bottom of that. Sorry, it's hard to show you this with Sadie. So, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to do anything. I have to read some directions here, but let's just try and pull this out. Oh, yeah, a little water's coming out. Um, take, oh, sorry, you just take this off of here because this is empty, this is the old one, it feels heavier than this one, so it's probably full of all kinds of nasty stuff. Um, and then I'm just going to insert this and hope that it's right. That doesn't seem right. Well, let's look into it. Alright, so the two things are up and down, so that's how I'm going to insert it. And there's this metal clip over here on the right side, so, and then, like, I'm checking out the left. Um... Okay, so I think I got it. Yep. And as I push it, there we go. And I just like pressurized or like aerated or something. <laughs> um, so then I just have to come up here and push switch five times in 10 seconds to reset filter. So five times 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully that does it. We'll see. Push switch five times in 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's blinking. Oh my goodness. There, it's green. Sweet. I did it. I'm such an adult. It only took um, <laughs> scissors, this box to hold up the camera for certain angles, my phone for the flashlight, and yeah, now I just have to clean up a little bit of water that leaked out. Um, but that's awesome. I don't know what you do with this now, but that's for you to figure out. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial of Allison being a boss. <laughs> Alright, bye. So I recorded an intro clip for a spa video. You'll probably see that around the same time as this video. Um, so I'm editing it together now. I basically had it done. I just had to put this clip in. I'm also making dinner, so I have two sweet potatoes in the oven. And then um, I have chicken marinating in the fridge and salads made. So um, salads, that one's going to be mine. I'm, we'll put more stuff on them, but that's it for now. And marinating the chicken. Um, since it's warm outside for the one day of the month, <laughs> um, Luke is gonna grill the chicken for dinner. So um, when he gets home, we'll have our salads, and then we'll um, he'll grill the chicken, and we'll eat the sweet potatoes with that. So that's the plan. Um, this is my microphone that I use for voiceovers, and it's really nice and easy to use. It's a USB uh, microphone, but it's the CAD U37. So 
I recommend it, although I'm sure it's not hard to set up. Luke actually is the one that set this up, not me, but it's like perfect how it is, so I just use it. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually probably going to wrap this up unless there's anything else that we do or that I want to film tonight. Um, but thanks for watching. hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have never changed your refrigerator filter before, that's how you do it. You only need them if you have like the water dispensers. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon, and God bless. Bye.